hi guys and welcome back to my channel is your girl chicks with another youtube video and you all welcome back to my channel if you need so if you are a returning subscriber you're welcome <clears throat> if this is your new time here you're welcome please don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you step out of the page so today's video is going to be about a hair video and um I made a video earlier this year, late last year, posted earlier this year about how I grew my hair in six months. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys one of the secrets to how I grew my hair in that six months. <sighs> okay, I took a little bit fast, so I'm just going to stop talking too fast and, you know, blending with the talk. So let's just get right into the video. So hi guys and welcome back and today's video is going to be about the hibiscus tea hair growth method which we all know as sorry the hibiscus tea um hair growth method which we all know as zobo as the drink zobo that we all drink in africa we call it zobo over here and um i actually watched a lot of videos about this zobo um before i said to make mine and i just realized a lot, lot of people don't actually talk about the benefits of this um hibiscus leaf the zobo leaves they just they just you know tell you how to use it for your hair and that's it that's that for them and um i have a lot of things i wrote about this um leaf here here yeah i don't want to actually just read it out like bringing it out but i will be explaining it and um explaining if it's actually a good hair growth product so um i'll just go ahead and show you guys how i made my own um zobo leaves oil and water for hair growth and then i'll be right back all you need to make this havoc hibiscus water is just zobo leaves um the rosemary and cloves and it's just a very simple thing you just add all of them into a bowl or on a plastic container cover it off for at least 12 hours and voila it's ready for you to use speaking about um what this hibiscus contains um i'm talking about just four major things which is the flavonoids um the vitamin c the amino acid and the antioxidant now um out of these four things i mentioned um the flavonoids is good because it enhances blood circulation to your hair follicles and it transforms dominant follicles in the hair to um hair follicles and it stimulates new hair growth so that means that um using hibiscus tea actually helps you grow new hairs as, um the hair follicles are not trying to grow but with hibiscus tree it actually helps them grow and uh, the benefits of using this particular hibiscus tea or zobo tea on your hair um first of all it strengthens it strengthens the roots of your hair which um what really causes that is the flavor noise i spoke about earlier and then it prevents your scalp from external damage um then it also prevents dandruff and it helps condition the hair so uh, these are the um four main reasons why this hibiscus tea is good for your hair so apart from growing your hair there are other things you might need this for if you are um struggling with dandruff and all that hibiscus tea is actually very good for you to use for your hair so let's just go ahead um to 12 hours later on yeah, and I forgot to mention, make sure you keep the um, hibiscus tea, after putting it in the plastic, keep it in a place where there is no sunlight, where there is no sunlight hitting on it. Yes. So after 12 hours, you just go ahead and sieve it out and then you have your hibiscus tea for your hair.
now you would realize that i've changed my clothes and i did that because this zobo um water actually stains a whole lot and if you have um people use their towels but my towels are have white in them i'm not trying to um lose them forever and if you're going to apply the zobo leaves it's best you use things that you don't mind them getting stained so this is a black hair scarf that i don't really use anymore and i'll be using it to cover up my neck and this is red because I mean, this is also lot. This is red. I don't know if that makes sense. And I'll be getting off my bonnet and my hair scarf, my satin um hair scarf to reveal my hair. So I tried the. Uh, I tried. My hair has been really tangled up for a long time because I haven't had time to take care of my hair. But then I tried the. Um, tangling it last night and this is my hair at the moment so we're just going to go ahead and apply it and yep So um, after applying the usable water all over your hair, um, whenever I use the applicator bottle, I always wash it off. But I use this remaining one, it's not going to be wasted. I'm going to um, transfer it or just change the amount of this to a spray bottle. That way I spray it on my hair every day for like a week and I always put it into inside the fridge inside the fridge i don't leave it out if you leave it out it will spoil so i put it inside the fridge and i spray it on my hair for like a week i don't wash that one off i just spray it on my hair and uh, i mostly do it in the evening time before i sleep or any day i'm not going out so after a week i have to trade away because i don't think it's good anymore but then i won't be wasting this like i said earlier this is too much to waste i'll cover up my hair for about 20 30 minutes then i'll wash it off so i'm back this is 20 minutes later and you can see because of the hammer time um usable stuff dried up on my face but i'll be washing it off when i go to the bathroom to wash my hands are really all wet. so let's see what my hair looks like 20 minutes later okay My scalp is surprisingly not red this period. I always have a red scalp after. But okay, maybe because I never wash it off. But like I said, you don't really have to wash this off. I just wash my hair off because I applied it so much and I don't want to have red all over my hair all through the day. So I'll be going ahead to wash off my hair and I'll be right back when I'm done doing that. See you guys. So this is me after um washing off my hair and i deep condition my hair a little bit too so this is like more than 30 minutes after and yeah so uh, my hair is still dripping water a little bit so i'm just going to stamp it out okay yeah so i'm just going to go ahead and apply my special oil my essential oils on my hair So I'm going to go ahead and um, twist my hair because washing it that way, the twists scatter the whole lot. 
and uh, before i don't even i said this earlier in the video but then you can use this particular method at least once every week or you can use it two to three times in a month so thank you guys for watching today's video and i'll see you guys next time bye